All right, welcome back. Let's take one last look at the radar. Still some heavy rain up around the New Braunfels, San Marcos area, getting some new development across southern parts of Bear County. So these downpours will continue. It's not going to rain all day, but we are going to see some off and on rain, some pockets of heavy rain too. There could be some minor flooding in spots, so just take it slow if you're going to be out and about. Rain chances continue tonight and into early tomorrow, guys. Thanks, Justin. I tell you what, if you're going to have rainfall, this is the right guy. Yes, absolutely. All right, that is it for us here on the News at Noon. Wait, it's time now for Essay Live on this Monday. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is Essay Live. I'd like to say April 25th because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. I love <laughs> that Hello soundbite. and happy Monday, April 25th, as you just heard, Miss Rhode <laughs> Island's perfect date there from Miss Congeniality. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. <laughs> and I'm Mike Osterhage, and with that in mind, the perfect date. Yes, that's our question of the day, okay? We're asking you to describe your perfect date. Let us know at SLI Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and look for your answer a little later in the show. What would be your show. perfect date? Um, I always enjoyed something that gave a little bit of friendly competition, okay? No kidding. <laughs> well, it also kind of helped you get to know each other. My perfect date mm -hmm. is stuffed with goat cheese and then wrapped in I bacon. Knew it. I knew you would do that. I've had those before. They're really good. Okay. okay. We said date. We didn't say what kind of date here, so. <laughs> so let us know. And I see your life case out. All right, you may see that. A little later, as we said. All right. All right. David Reyes, the executive chef from Conroy's, and Gary Skinner, the owner, are here to cook up some really good food. And speaking of things wrapped in bacon, we are wrapping stuff in bacon right now. Gentlemen, good yes. afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank what you. What are we making here? Well, we have a bacon wrapped shrimp, which has our special sauce on it. We also have a okay. shrimp and grits, the way it's done, right. old fashioned style, the way we do it. We saute that. You got Mike down there, he's rolling up the bacon wrapped shrimp for us, which he's doing a nice job. I think he's getting faster every time. Yeah. How, how, am I, how am I doing, Chef? You're doing, doing great, great right now. I just we're, keep we're gonna make it. the shrimp down You're this end. Excellent. So, okay. yep, just put, I just put about three in there. It. That'd be good, you got that sizzling. You got some right over there. there. Get that off there a little bit. Now we can there you go. Now, one of the things that you've had shrimp and grits before, this is their version of the grits. And how'd you come up with this? I came up with my grandmother. Came with, uh, she used to make tamales. Yeah. So we left, had leftover uh, masa, so the masa I did is put cheddar cheese on there, jalapeno, red bell pepper, and use it up and make some grits right there. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm just going to borrow these. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Easy to plan. So, and the uh, Parmesan cheese and the uh, cheddar cheese will help the grits out and give it a nice sear in the top mm -hmm. like you see it right here in the presentation. And we're going to sear for a good like Perfect. three, four minutes. Then we'll just go ahead and saute it out with you. Okay. And now, are what? these some of the dishes? You said that there's a people's choice menu at your place. Yeah. This is what people's choice what come up with. So. What Conrad's yeah. did is when we started our menu, it, it took us a year and a month to make our menu. And we actually did it in paper. And you would come in and you'd order off pieces of paper that we put together. And then after we got 10 groups of people that gave us thumbs up, it took us a year and a month to make the menu. Uh -huh. And this is how we came up with all the different dishes because everybody has different taste buds. So we have five to six different types of dishes that are on the menu. So that's a very unique about uh, Conroy's, which is nice. Okay. And so what is the trick there to kind of the get trick that we're going to So what we've done right is here. you make flip it over? Yes, okay. Sir. Let me flip it. Yep. Yes. We've got They're a like lot of cakes. cooks in this kitchen here today. Oh, look how <laughs> gorgeous those look. Nice and we'll golden We'll make that a good brown sear. It's the Parmesan cheese and the cheddar cheese you put in there. So okay. That's what gives it a nice sear on top. So if I was doing this at home, just make grits the regular way. And just add put Cheddar and cheese and Parmesan cheese and jalapeno, and you can put salt, pepper, and garlic, and bell pepper. And then I stick it on a, a sheet pan as thick as I want it and put it in the fridge, right? Yes, sir. And it'll come out like gelatin. Oh, wow. And it'll come out like pancakes. You can cut it in any kind of shape you like. She's going to town down here. She's got the sauce going in. And she's got, got the garlic sauce over there, which she's yep. making over there. Yep. And you've got two and different types of sauces with the different types of shrimp. Perfect. That's the garlic. Perfect. Parmesan cheese sauce we right there. Which you put it on there. It's going to balance that out with the grits right there. Perfect. It's got a sauté in real nice in there with all the sauce. 
Nothing like what nice. else is on the menu at your place? Well, we've got double bone and pork chops. Believe it or not, we have orange chicken fried rice. Mm -hmm. We have chicken fried chicken. Our pizzas are made New York style in a big pizza oven. Holds 24 pizzas the old fashioned way. Uh -huh. uh, we great. have homemade soups Beautiful. every day, so it's very unique with everything we do. And if you want nachos, we got awesome nachos on the menu too. So you have a variety sea bass, salmon, okay. a variety of different. And everything dishes. from fresh and scratch. Oh, serve this up like And speaking this. of some of the pizza, you guys have a deal for SA Live viewers, that, right? That's correct. Yeah. So if you come in and mention SA Live, you'll get a pizza for $10, which is a great deal. Okay. Throw those shrimp on there. So what you want to do, yeah, go ahead and take it. Go. Okay. Put the shrimp over the top of it. There Perfect. Ooh, this looks so right good. Top. Two locations, right? That's correct. Yes. We have one in Fair Oaks and one off of uh, 281 in Stone Oak. Okay. You can right check us out at ConroysUSA.com. A little sauce on there. Yep, just right pour it right across it. There we go. There we go. Yep. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Ooh. And we got a little, right. <laughs> little part for you to put it on top. And there, that, and there it is. Taste we got <laughs> shrimp jalapeno oh, grits okay. right there. <laughs> it's hot. And again, the menu, people's choice, this right? This made the people's, it's made by the people. Everybody cool. is a people's choice menu. Heavens to Betsy, that's really good stuff. <laughs> Congratulations, people, you came up with a really, really good. Thank you so much. What would, what would be your best thing on the menu, your favorite thing? Well, it depends on the category, because we have so many different categories. So if you come in and you want Italian food, our chicken parmesan is amazing. If you wanted some chicken alfredo, so we have so many different items that are on the menu that are very tasteful, so it depends. Like, I mean, just like you just made one of our specialties, which is our shrimp and grits, which, it's melted in your mouth. Speaking of specialties, it's an award, right? As yes. well? What yes. is that? We are, actually, we, our double bone and pork chop got the chef's award. So that was that's because all of our chefs do such a great job on it. We put it on online and everybody said it was really good. So it's it's thick. It's this big. You can't even go into HEB and get a double bone and pork chop. You have to go to a butcher to get it, you know. And so it's thick. So it takes about 15 minutes to make. But there's a special sauce that Chef Dave, Dave makes. We put it on there and smothered over and it melts in your mouth. It's and really good. And you said good. you've got a prime rib that's... We do prime rib on, on Fridays. Okay. So we do a variety of different foods. So when you come in, it's like when you come with the family, you come in and everybody can make a choice, even the kids' menu. It's delicious. Yes. Well, Conroy has two locations, one in Fair Oaks Ranch and one in Stone Oak. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Well, this is one place if you need ideas to take mom out to eat on Mother's Day, and you can still make a nice treat for her at home, too. So we're continuing with the recipe from cookbook author and mom of four kids, Liza Heaps, also known as the Food Nanny. Yes, so today's Mom Day Monday includes our Jen Tobias Strusky and her daughter whipping up a sweet treat with a special ingredient. Mother's Day is around the corner, and what better way to surprise mom than with a homemade dessert? Today, we get help from none other than the food nanny. Now, she's a mom of four kiddos, has her own cookbook using kumut flour. So she'll explain more about that, but I'm super excited for today's recipe. It is lavender cookies. Yes, lavender cookies. So I'm very excited. I've made these already before. It's one of my new favorite cookbooks. And together, we will show you just how easy it is to whip up some lavender cookies for mom. And they look so pretty, too. And Lizzie joins us today with her beautiful mother. I'm so excited. I, I couldn't have it. My daughter, too. I love it. And your yes. daughter is so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> We're making today one of my favorites is uh, things in the world is lavender, so I'm super excited about this recipe. Well, then you're like us. We're obsessed with lavender. We love it. We have it as decor all throughout the house. Yeah. Come on. We love it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it because it takes us back to France? I, I don't know. Yeah. We love it. It takes us back to France, Europe, but we have it here dry. We even try to grow it. So I have some of mine here, but I love that you guys are going to walk us through the process now. So I can't believe you made that. That's well, it's super easy. Cookies are easy. The trick that we have now been doing for the last few years is we always use cold butter in our cookies. I feel like it makes it so they don't go super flat, but it, you just you mix it up. You've got a little bit of butter, sugar, some eggs. Look at my fresh farm eggs that I get outside. Look at how green they are. They're like every color. Every color. They're so beautiful. And then you've got some kamut flour. You've got a little bit of baking soda, and you're adding a tablespoon of the edible lavender into the cookie mix. Not very much at all. No, because it goes a long way. Right. But the main ingredient is our kamut flour. It's so much better for you, and it ups the quality of your life and the taste. 
So one cup at a time, we are going to add the dry to the wet. So the next best thing that you do is you have a little bit of sugar and you put some of the lavender in it and you're rolling the cookie in there, kind of like a snickerdoodle. All right, more sugar. Can't go wrong with that. You're rolling it. And then I love to bake the cookies on parchment paper. A lot of people don't do that, but we do. We the love brown it. is the best too, if you can find it. Ah, they smell so good. But here we go, this is what they look like. For seven minutes, they will go in, then they will come out delicious. Super excited. Here we go. And then you just get the finished product. I'm very obsessed about not overdoing your cookie. It's gotta be a little bit chewy. It's gotta be good, but um, they're they're the best. And these freeze amazing. Cookies freeze amazing. Amazing. Kamut is all we've now been using for a while. It's been like over five years now, but it has changed our life for the better. It's known for taste, texture, digestibility. It has less gluten than any white flour, but really it's upgraded everything. Most people go, well, then it must be a bread flour. No, no. we're making these yummy cookies and cakes and all of it. <laughs> Lizzie, I know that your love for cooking is a big influence comes from your, your mom's. So my mom was just the mom that was in the kitchen every day cooking for her family. She believed in the importance of having family dinner time. I'm the baby of seven children and that is where we bonded. Well, I love that and I love the idea of those family dinners. It's very important. All of these recipes and the flour, where can people order this from you, Lizzie? The best way to do it is you can order the starter kit and you save money. Okay. You get the book, you get a bag of flour, you get our life-changing salt that we import from France. It's the marriage, we call it. And you I get our little spoon. teaspoon. It's a four and one. It's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half and a fourth. Okay, perfect. Do you guys want to join in and take a bite together? Oh yeah, sure. We've already had, We've already had a few. <laughs> <laughs> and for more information on the Food Nanny and Kamut and how to order your starter kit, just go to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ready? Mm -hmm. So good. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day Happy to you. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, Still ahead on SA Live, did Mike's Fiesta look inspire you to wear maybe the white jean or white pant, but you're not sure how to pull it off? We've got an expert showing us how to look white hot in white jeans. But first, looking for that one-of-a-kind gift for mom, how you can make her feel so special and support our local shops and boutiques. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Whether your mom likes something sparkly or something practical or just something nice and sweet, our local shops have something every category for her. And local small business owner Stephanie Pina Frost from Princess and the Monkey Home Decor is here with some great gift ideas from all of her fellow business owners. Good yes, afternoon. good afternoon. So if you are shopping, mm -hmm. forget about just sitting there online. Go out and shop. Well, you can do it online too, but well, shop local. Right? right, you can do it online. Everybody here does have an online presence, but why not go to the shops themselves or why not go to the markets? Get out, enjoy the day, take your dogs, take your kids. To, uh, just go shopping for your wife, for your mother. Enjoy, enjoy the beautiful uh, okay. San Antonio. Let's start with the handmade terracotta and hand painted yes. earrings. These right here are made uh, from a local artist, and she hand cuts and hand paints all of her earrings. And they're beautiful. They're very lightweight, mm -hmm. and they're in just a great little kind of motif. All of them are going to be one of a kind. Oh my goodness! I know. Gracious, when, those are here. Let's get a quick picture right yeah. there. Those are absolutely beautiful. Everyone is different, and they're a great gift for mom, an awesome gift for mom. And then, of course, we have candles from this company called In the Weeds Botanicals, and she hand pours are all natural, all essential oil candles, and then I have some rose spray and some other um, lavender balm. So if your mom wants to relax, that's a great thing. And these candles actually have a crystal inside of them. Oh, wow. So each one will have a crystal. And they're called juju candles. Uh huh. And so she's and um, yeah, so she is at local markets, uh, farmers markets here in town. 
I know they're beautifully ooh, smelling. Ooh, beautiful smell. Great. And it'll it'll permeate your whole entire house. So that's a great gift idea. That's for when mom needs her just little home spa experience. It's like, it's like don't, I want don't me bother time. Me. Yes. Don't come in my room. I need me time. time. And uh, the mm -hmm. Mama Floral Tumbler. The Mama Floral Tumbler. Isn't this great? And it's um, handmade. So she layers it. She pours it. It's from a local uh, designer here in San Antonio, BK Designs. And I love it. I love the design on it. I love the flowers and the mama. It's absolutely perfect for your for your large coffee yeah. or for your beverage of choice. That's really pretty. Yes, it's very. And I mean, it looks it looks commercially done, but it's not. It's all handmade. That's fantastic. Yeah, she's amazingly talented. For the dog moms, and <sighs> you want look at this. It's yes. a bow tie for the fashionable dog and a matching key chain for the mom now if you don't have kids but you have dogs you can still celebrate mother's day why not celebrate it with some great dog mom gifts from uh barth and barks uh, locally as well okay. next <laughs> we've got the mug, mom mug and scripture verse painting yes i love the mug it's good for the right-handed or left-handed mom it's may your <laughs> copy be stronger than your toddler if you're a mom you definitely understand it you definitely get it <laughs> We just had an amen from Wait, somebody, we just had somebody here. Somebody yes. with a toddler. Somebody yes. with a toddler. And then I love her scriptures. And they're all done on, on alcohol ink paper. And they're just beautifully, beautifully, beautiful, beautifully done. And then we have some, um, I love the wood flowers. Yeah, those are made out of wood. They're, they're made out of wood. And uh, she does beautiful, beautiful work in all different different designs, different different colors, different textures. I love the red and the orange. It's my favorite one. Okay, but of course, the mug. Is it, it, I was thinking it wood, it would be stiff, but right. it, it's kind of soft and it's pliable. Like, it's like a, paper, like a wood paper product and then dyes it and then forms it into these beautiful handmade flowers. Those are Absolutely so gorgeous. Pretty. And then, of course, we have some little vases, antique vases. What mom doesn't love to get some flowers? So why not, you know, have some little vases with some with some flowers. Very delicate, That's very sweet. Say, that one reminds yes. me of like an antique vases, little yes. bud vases that we have. And it's perfect for kids to give to their mom. Little things like that Aww. and then um, some more bath soothing products from from the farm yeah can't go wrong no. any day would be Mother's Day with it's, that it's beautiful products why and I know you're a really big advocate of this why yes. is it so important to to shop local and support all these local so these are all moms these are all women owned businesses this is what we do this is who we are and if it wasn't for these local markets these local shops this local opportunities we wouldn't have the access to the market we wouldn't have access to the larger larger stores so we really need the support from the community to come out and shop local shop from these uh, wonderful sourced mothers now a lot of days a lot of times these days it's very convenient go online you know amazon something like that a couple of clicks oh. and, you're, and you're gone but uh, these you can either do that like you said they all have a, a social media yes, presence yes. but then also there are some of the markets too yes where uh we can find all of us either at like hebner oaks farmers markets um a bernie handmade market up in bernie uh mm -hmm. right before mother's day they're going to some of these groups are going to be out there alamo quarry market there's a lot of great um opportunities between now and mother's day so it's not too late to go out and buy everything you see here will be available locally okay and don't forget Mother's Day is the second Sunday in yes, May the yes. 8th this year right after Derby Day so and, and don't forget like we said they have yes. all uh, presence on uh, social media so you can find mm -hmm. that for more information small mm -hmm. business and of course Princess and the Monkey Home Decor go to our website salive.com click on the as seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code right there on the screen as always, thank you, Stephanie. Great, great ideas. Thank you for having us. Still out on SA Live, every good meal needs a good drink. How a local restaurant makes sure they have a cocktail for everyone's taste. And next, it's your chance to live without glasses or contacts. How you can correct your vision and save money. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, swimming pools and summer sun, oh, those are just on the way. And if you've been thinking about getting rid of your glasses or contacts, now is the time to get Z-LASIK so you can enjoy summer without the added hassle. And it could save you thousands in the long run. And here with us today is Richard Doinoff, Director of Operations with Manrique Custom Vision. And he, of course, has big savings for you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, how are you? All right, bringing the savings. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But for those who don't know, what is Z-LASIK? Uh, Z-LASIK is a totally blade and pain free procedure that Dr. Manrique performs. He's actually the only trainer in the area for it. Um, it's basically custom designed for each eye so it takes out your, your, your real prescription mm -hmm. and makes you see as good or better as you do out of glass and contacts most of the time better. So is it safe? 
Oh yeah, like I said, there's no, there, I had a, a lot of people know this, in 98 I had the blade cut with Doc. Uh, there's no cutting anymore, it's all laser driven. And the coolest thing is that, like I said, it takes under like 10 seconds an eye to do all this and you're So done. just a few seconds each eye, and this is completely lifestyle changing. Absolutely. I mean, all right, so who would be a candidate? <clears throat> Um, anybody over the age of 18 that's in glasses or contacts, they don't have any known eye diseases, if they have any questions, just call and ask us. Um, if you have, eye, if you have uh, eye glasses and you know your prescription, it always helps us out a little bit, but we invite you in, all your viewers get a free screening, you come in, we'll check it out to make sure it's good for them, and then we just proceed from there. All right, and what do folks say afterwards? Look at our Facebook page, I tell everybody <laughs> that, I mean, you know, he does, we do two, three hundred of these a month. Um, it says it all. Everybody gets up and a lot of them are laughing and with Doc and a lot of them, a lot of the female clients, they actually cry because they haven't seen for so long. It's, a, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. And of course, Dr. Manrique has performed thousands of these procedures, right? We're close to 65,000 right now. Okay. And you have a special deal for SA Live viewers watching today? Absolutely. We'll give up to $1,200 off your Z-LASIK procedure. Uh, the first move is just to give us a call or text us. We'll give you a call. Make sure it's good for you. I mean, if you come in and you happen not to be a candidate, then okay. we'll, we'll try to figure out where we can help you. So if folks are interested, is there financing? Absolutely, we have up to 36 months interest free. Uh, we take medical spending accounts and flexible spending accounts, but we have a lot of plans that can help anybody. Okay, and as you mentioned, you've gotten this done, right? Oh, yeah. And we are going into the summer months, so this can really help folks out. It's the, the weirdest thing that we're seeing now because of all the pollen. Mm -hmm. Um, people are really, their eyes are getting aggravated with their contacts on, and I, I tell everybody, this contacts will do more damage to your eyes than LASIK ever has. This is a game changer for the rest of your life. So a few seconds each eye, then afterwards they just kind of go home, they rest, and basically give you, up we, and about, right? We give you some happy drugs, <laughs> uh, so you, you go home and take a nap for a few hours. Most of our patients wake up and they're, they're fine right afterwards, four or five hours of sleep. All right, Richard Doinout, Director of Operations at Manrique Custom Vision. Thank you so much. Call or text today and save up to $1,200 on your Z LASIK procedure for qualified eyes at Manrique Custom Vision. Just call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, just visit the website sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard, once again, thank Great you so much. You. Next on the show, fashion this year, all about being bold. So don't be scared to try something new. We've got tips for wearing white jeans and white pants and looking white hot. And we've got a fun-filled week ahead on SA Live. kind of the white jeans kind of look from the 80s with Miami Vice. But I mean, how do you pull that look off today? All right, and the man with the answers is Stefan Delgado with Bare Essentials. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? All right, my co-host Mike inspired me to do this segment because he recently really did pull off this white jean look and it looked great and I didn't know it was a total thing. <laughs> it is a thing, and, I, and I'll have to say, when I saw your text about doing a segment on this, I was a little bit, okay, she's gonna challenge me here. So I'm hoping you folks are, are appreciating this because this is a challenge here and I'm looking forward to it. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna start off with some baby steps. So what I got here is I have Joey in some kind of off-colored white jeans. So kind of taking that step into the white pant look. But the thing about Joey's look is that he could go out to a restaurant and not worry about getting the white pants dirty because I think these pants look even better being dirty. He's got them cut off, which is nice. He's got some nice little dark sabas to go with it. And then a nice little brown shirt to keep it nice and, and matchy matchy, but not too monochromatic look. Um, and then a nice hat. So again, just a nice little weekend look. Go out. Hey, if I get dirty, no big deal. We can just throw them in the washing machine and be good to go. And it is that kind of off-white, kind of darker cream, right? Yeah, because some guys are just not comfortable with the white white. Right. And that's okay. That's okay. But this is still a start. We can start somewhere. All right. All right. So we've gone in 
in with a little bit of a baby step. And yep. now, if you were to kind of kick it up a notch of it, where would you go? I would go where I'm going to have go with Ryan. So okay. I know with white pants, what we always try to stay away from is being too crazy because you don't want to bring too much attention to your look. But with Ryan, what we have here is we have a nice floral blue shirt to have some fun with it. Again, in the white pants. Now we're into the white pants right here. Some chinos from J. Crew. Uh, threw on a denim jacket because we could get a little cool in the evening. So he's got a nice little J. Crew denim jacket. And then we have fun with some Nike blazers, high tops. Again, just keeping it fun, not drawing too much attention, kind of taking away from the white pants, but still bringing out the full look with the white pants, with the blue floral shirt, jacket to tie it all together, and Ryan wears it very well. I love it. Okay, so we've kicked it up a notch with that look, and now we really want to polish it. How do we polish the look? The polished look. That's my friend Nick here with the polished look. So it's polished, but still casual, right? We have the tennis shoes on underneath. We have the white pants, again, J. Crew white pants. And then what we did here is we got just a nice, you know, off-white sweater. You know, go to the movie theater, go to somewhere where it's really cool inside. That's going to be a great look. But if you wanted to, he's got a nice little navy shirt underneath to kind of bring out some color. You know, I like a pop in color. Got the jean jacket with it as well, too. So again, very polished, very clean. If you wanted to make it even cleaner, he could go with some loafers or go with some sabas like Joey had on earlier. So again, a lot of these looks can be turned different ways. Do you want them to look really fancy? Do you want them to look a little bit more casual? Okay. All right. Now we're going to kind of finish off with your own look. So my look is a little bit more um, confident. I've always loved white pants. I wear them, I wear them year round if I need to. Um, this is more of a business look. So I got a blazer with just a nice floral, you know, kind of light colored t-shirt on underneath. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put on a button up shirt. I could wear this to work to the office. And then I really bring it together with the loafers. So it's some nice tasseled loafers to really make it kind of that business casual look. All right, and any final thoughts for guys who want to Go ahead and try and step out in style in the white pant or jean. Yeah, I'm glad you asked me this. First of all, confidence. Mm -hmm. Be confident when you wear them, all right? You can wear these, I promise you. Secondly, no dark chonas underwear. No dark underwear. Keep them light, light gray or white. We don't want to see them through the pants. Oh, Mike is chuckling in this part. Uh, hey, I promise you, that will make the look really embarrassing for you. We don't need that with the white pants. So those are my main takeaways. I think outside of that, you know, it, it's really just about being confident with your look. All right. All right, Stephen Delgado with Bear Essentials. Thank you so much. For more information on him, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Thank you so much, guys. Next on SA Live, their menu is all about what the people want. We go behind the bar to see cocktails that are popular with the Alamo City and how a local restaurant puts their own spin on the classics. Keep it here. Live. Well, earlier you saw what's coming out of the kitchen at a local restaurant, and now we're getting behind the bar. Good place to be. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Especially something to go with those wonderful dishes that we made. And Jacob Huddleston, who is the manager at Conroy's Bar Heck and yeah. Grill, is here to make some craft cocktails Heck with us. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right. The names are great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely take pride in the names of them. Try to put a little unique twist on the craft cocktail game out here. So All what right. am I making? You're going to be making the War Pigs. It's a <laughs> maple bacon old fashioned, so it's a twist on the classic old fashioned. So that bourbon is that. That's going to be uh, the Buffalo Trace, which is real popular, and it's bacon infused actually. We're using bacon fat and an actual strip of bacon and infusing it. It takes about 24 hours for it to settle, and it's not overwhelming, but you get the taste and the flavor of a smoky bacon. Did you hear that, bacon lovers? You can come back up off the floor now. I know you probably I know. fainted, but I yes. Know. <laughs> Never heard of infusing bacon into booze before. Hey, we got to try it. Bacon goes with everything. I know. So, all right, put the bitters in there. I put the bacon whiskey in there, and then. Yes, we're going to go ahead and throw in a homemade maple simple syrup in there, too, to Good finish it up. Oh, yeah. Stir oh, yeah. it around there. Okay. And a lot of the classics, right? But with a twist. With a twist, <laughs> definitely. Can't go wrong with the classic. And then over a large Beautiful. cube like that. Oh, and my word. To top it off, yes, bacon, more bacon, bacon, actual bacon. I feel like the, I feel like the, the dog in the uh, the commercial. Bacon, yeah, <laughs> it's not quite done yet, it's right? Bacon. Not done yet yeah. because we're gonna go one more step. We're here. gonna go, the, yeah, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go even further with it. 
All right, so this is going to... Mike's very excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is the fun part. Yes. So it's there a goes. little bit of a fan. Yeah, and you see the smoke is getting in there, so yeah. it's going to... Yeah, that's perfect, perfect. Oh, you see it's filling right up. Right down yeah. in. Can you see that, Fiona? It's a yes. steady stream. Especially with the tighter shot. Yes, I can I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it on the screen. Look at All that. Right. Look that's... at you go. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can let that go ahead and settle in there, and then usually we leave it in for... A, Maybe a minute so, or two, so it turn it off. Yeah, you can turn it off now. Okay, you can cut I feel it like off. a mad scientist right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> he gets there really easy. That feeling. Yes, Rick okay. and Morty. So when is happy hour? Happy hour is from two to seven at uh, Conroy's and Fair Oaks and Stone Oak, and then we are currently working on getting together a late night reverse happy hour every night from ten o'clock to close at both locations. All right. Okay. So what am I making here? You are going to be making the pinky ring margarita. Okay. So that about one's. Yeah, we're going with the pineapple jalapeno okay. flavor. Okay. Then we're going to go with the simple syrup and lime juice, of course. Got to have that in a margarita. <laughs> oh, every of time. course. I like that reverse happy hour type thing. The you, you got to yeah. pick up that yeah, little not? pineapple juice in there. Okay. And then we're going to do a half a bar spoon of that cocktail glitter. That's what makes it shimmer and shine. Oh, that's okay. that's going to be what puts on the show. The ladies right love here? this one. Most definitely. All right. There we go, and then just right. stir it up, right? We're going to, uh, yeah, yeah, we can stir it up. Okay. And last but not least, the one you're making, the Conroy's Sazerac. And this looks like just something that you would, I mean, drink from the, the 20s or something. Most definitely. It's yeah. an older classic New Orleans cocktail. Okay. What's in that one? That one's going to have, it's actually fairly simple. It's going to have the Peixoux bitters in there, which is a New Orleans bitter. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have our Martell's Cognac, and we're going to have our Sazerac, properly named Rye Whiskey. Okay. So a little bit of this? The Cognac yeah, and the Rye Whiskey it's be together. It's going to be an each of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Something to sip in front of the fireplace, Most right? definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Get your cigars out. Amen to that one. <laughs> Two locations for Conroy. Two right? locations. We have the one in Fair Oaks and the one off 281 in Stone Oak. Okay. And it's uh, getting ready to unveil this craft menu. We got about eight new cocktails coming out. The new happy hours, live entertainment. We're always working on doing something new at both locations, keeping okay. the people. Okay, since you're the bartender, I won't ask what your favorite drink is. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Food wise, or, yeah. oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to go with the bacon ranch shrimp that we showcase. You can't go wrong with the bacon. No, of course not. <laughs> and right. that garlic sauce. Let's see the uh, unveiling here. And do we have a lot of smoke on that? Yes, we oh, do. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> that beautiful. looks so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Love All right. it. Bacon All right. and whiskey. Okay. Well, for more information, of course, on Conroy's Bar and Grill, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Cheers. Bacon and whiskey. <laughs> Can't be. happy it. man. Better than peanut butter and jelly. All right. Next on SA Live, it's a disease that's affecting more and more people, and it typically happens later in life. The signs and symptoms of Parkinson's and the unique way one local hospital is treating it don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, April is Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. About seven to 10 million people around the world are diagnosed with it. Now, the disease isn't curable, but Methodist Hospital wants you to know there is hope for a better tomorrow. And joining us now is Dr. Ryan Kachansky, a neurosurgeon at Methodist Hospital. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much Thank for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk about what exactly Parkinson's disease is. Tell us a little bit about the symptoms. Yeah, so Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder, and what that means is it's caused by a loss of a very important chemical deep within our brain called dopamine. Dopamine is critical in terms of driving the neurocircuitry for movements, smooth movements that we, that we make. When we lose dopamine, we lose those, the ability to have smooth, coordinated movements. And what does that lead to? It leads to the three main symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Tremor at rest, so shaking, rigidity or tightness, and then slowness, bradykinesia. Dope, imagine dopamine as the oil to an engine. That's what drives the neurocircuitry, and when we lose it, we lose the ability to function appropriately in our normal everyday movements. 
So is there treatment and if so, how does that work? Yeah, so medications are quite effective for early stage disease and controlling the symptoms, but what happens over time is that the medications lose their effectiveness. They become harder to dose or sometimes they cause significant side effects and patients can't take them anymore. And so in those instances, something called deep brain stimulation is a great option for those patients. It involves placing wires deep within the brain to very precise locations and turning on special electrical current that then drives the neurocircuitry of the brain to produce more smooth movements. So imagine it's adding oil to that engine that's been without oil for a long time. So who's a candidate for that deep brain stimulation? Yeah, so folks that have those main symptoms of Parkinson's disease, tremor, rigidity, or bradykinesia, can be, you know, patients have sort of, it's a very heterogeneous experience in terms of the disease for each patient. Some patients have more tremor than say rigidity or more bradykinesia. And so any one of those symptoms um, and the ability, and where medication is no longer as effective, um, those patients are great candidates for this procedure. Okay, and so what's different about the way deep brain stimulation is done, you know, surgeries done there at Method as compared? Yeah, so historically these types of surgeries are done with patients awake. And the reason why we do the surgery awake is because we're putting a wire very close to other important structures, structures that control movement, um, and so we want to make sure when we turn it on that the patient's not having any side effects related to the stimulation. At Methodist, we have special technology consisting of an intraoperative MRI machine, so an MRI magnet that actually comes into the operating room. And we also have a special targeting software called ClearPoint Software, which is able to deliver a wire to the exact location within a millimeter to wherever we want it to go. So we know that if we place it accurately in that location, we won't have side effects. And so what does that allow us to do? It allows us to do this surgery without the patient being awake. The patient can be under general anesthesia. Patients just go to sleep and me and my team, we do all the hard work and we do the surgery. Wow, technology, amazing. Thank you so much. All right, all right. take steps, of course, towards a brighter tomorrow. You can learn more about your options at Methodist Hospital by calling 210-575-0355 or visit the website SAHealth dot com slash Parkinson's. Uh, doctor, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Fiona. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, it's a great Mother's Day gift where you can get local handmade jewelry that will show off your mom's unique personality and taste. Plus, it's an all new Java Gen. She's going inside an organic coffee trailer and micro bakery that's serving up one of a kind espresso drinks and eats. All of that and more tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. April 25th, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. I just love this movie, and that line is <laughs> great. Right down there at the Artisan <laughs> Theater, too. <laughs> All right, Rachel says her perfect day dinner, then a stroll on a beach. With a light jacket, yes. <laughs> and my grandparents married 53 years, a good date. Oh, oh yeah. So I always make time that. for that that date night, mm -hmm. which you always have to do, right? Yes, of anyway. course, make time for that. <laughs> and today you might need a light jacket that's waterproof, so just in case on April 25th. Anyway, all right, don't forget, tomorrow we have more great things for Mother's Day coming up. Yes. On the 8th, are you counting down? Yes, of course. We're okay. starting that countdown now, right? <laughs> it's like our public service announcement. Father's Day's in June, did you know that? Yes, we do. I want to point that out. <laughs>